<laughs> Advertise her? Oh, is that that said area? Can I can, can, can I get shown that again? I cannot. Oh. Stop running into the gigantic asteroids, shouldn't I? Not that running into the smaller ones is a good idea either, but... Seem like we can destroy that. Just gonna have to uh, deal with the insane amount, well, not really insane, the annoying amount of shots on screen because of it. Oh. Okay, it can be destroyed. Cool. These things, on the other hand, also can be killed. <laughs> okay. Again, it really seems like it's just when we have moved far enough, it just suddenly explodes, rather than anything I am doing. I don't know. Either one is possible. Looked like it was me causing the last two explosions, but I'm not honestly certain. what exactly that is, but as far as I'm concerned, it is Robo Spike, the, um, the dinosaur from The Land Before Time. Thank you. 
really curious if I'm going to be able to destroy the, um, hearts or not. fight is taking an excessively long amount of time. And as with any kind of shmup boss that doesn't have a health bar, I can't tell if I'm doing damage to the right parts, damage at all, if it's close to death, if it still has 10,000 more hits to go. go. <laughs> I was just about to say we were long past the point of this being interesting for anyone. that the B's and C's and A's were different bomb types somehow, even though they've all just been screen clearers, so I don't know why I thought that. But apparently those are just different types for the uh, little bomb, the missile, that's firing out. And the bombs this type come from me getting a P, so that's unexpected. Thank you, Koopo. Evidently, A is homing missile, B is penetrating missile, and C is guided missile. So, what's the difference between a homing missile and a guided missile? Aren't they basically the same thing? Guided missiles mimic your movements. That's not something I usually see in this kind of shmup, so that's interesting, although I don't know how effective it would be.
happened again with the spacecrafts. Is that who is invading? Evidently this game has a funny difficulty setting unlocked via it cheat code. Do tell. Wondering when the game was going to switch things up. <laughs> I was just about to mention it. different. Hey, snapped. This is Phalanx on the Game Boy Advance. And yes, it is a port of the SNES game that had the old man with a banjo on the cover. And again, just to elaborate on that, because I didn't before, the significance of the old man was that there were so many shmups out at the time, they just wanted to put something on the cover that would make people say, Huh? What is this? Rather than yet another spaceship soaring past some stars, maybe blasting a laser or two. a lot easier than expected. Like, a lot easier. This game's difficulty is just... It's everywhere. There, there's no difficulty curve to this. It's just up and down and up and down and up and down. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't actually need to zoom around and avoid the obstacles, but for the sake of humoring the game, we're going to anyway. Homing missiles are homing into the ground. So those can be killed. Okay. Wasn't necessary, but good to know. Okay, that's cool. That is a really cool shmup attack. Funny difficulty is the developer's idea of a joke. It is the absolute hardest difficulty, and if you complete it, you get an extra scene at the end of the hero kissing the girl. So, now that I know that, I'm not gonna bother with it. <laughs> If I see another B missile, I'm totally ditching this A missile. This homing stuff is really not working out. Yeah, if it was the banjo guy in the cutscene, then we'd be talking. <laughs> It's Banjoman that's actually piloting this ship. Or, or, or maybe Banjoman and his twin are piloting the options. Or maybe Banjo Man is piloting top option, and the Banjo is piloting bottom option. Thank you. 
Okay. <laughs> Entering some kind of danger zone. Apparently those drips were deadly. Did not realize that before. Oh, that's annoying. Let's just be doing this already. Anytime you feel like, uh, throwing something at me here, game. Oh, if you want to, uh, get rid of the foreground garbage, that would be great! That, that, that is awesome, thank you! Darkness is not. Let's, um, let's do something about that darkness. Okay. And apparently the walls are lined with, um... What would that be, uh, geometry homework? Oh, oh, uh, that's... That's not a nice effect, that is not a cool effect game. So, um... I can move through this! Okay! Good to know! Can I, and what can't I? Hmm. I'm <laughs> so... entirely uncertain. Great time to make use of all these things. <laughs> I've been saving up all game. <laughs> okay, we just uh, chumped the final boss. Awesome. <laughs> well, I am happy with that. Can we stop the beeping? There we go. <laughs> You're not supposed to translate that like that. So, that was... evidently... all of Phalanx. reasonable scores for this game. <laughs> it just goes straight back into that. So let me check a thing real quick. Realize and continues, level select, full stage select. Looks like there are a couple of secret areas, which I don't know what they actually do. 
think what the point is of going into a secret area. I guess there is just more stuff to kill. Oh, and uh, and, and power-ups. Okay, there we go. I was gonna say. So, yeah. <laughs> this has been Phalanx, the Enforce Fighter A144. It's, um, <laughs> it's been something else. Um, yeah, I, I'd rate this pretty good for a shmup in general. And, um, you know, especially for a Game Boy Advance shmup. This was really quite decent. Um, pretty well recommended. Definitely, uh, Give this one a try yourself if you are into the genre. And that said, I will see you folks in the next game. <laughs>